Ooh, Nosfander Slash. Let's start on him. Three, two, one. Yo, fight. Me a nine. Ah, she's very loud. <laughs> Look, sir, on the right. Uh, both players uh, left their item uh, up for a while, <laughs> but in the end, they are pretty much shanked. Vuxt are a little weak, but he has a slippery champion. The same goes for the slash by the way. What is happening? Haha, <laughs> Vuxt just going all in. And it confused me, but also Nosfa a bit, but uh, he recovered nicely. Uh, I do think like that rocket shoved Nosfa so high that he got a better view of where Buxter was uh, at. So that rocket was actually the death trap for Buxter himself, but he is able to recover with the super shoddy on Nosfa's nose. Miguel's up first, but uh, Buxter wants to this rocket launcher. Oh, and is not hitting the slash but there is extra damage so it's even better than hitting uh, him or her before the pickup still shopping for an angle and getting it nosva sliding into view Buckster has his crosshair at the right spot primes are ready click at the right moment and yeah you get 90 damage and oh, but this one he misses <laughs> oh. Brilliance followed by a boo boo. But at least he's not giving frags away. So, uh, and still working with heavy control. Life is still good for him. Maybe even a little bit better than uh, Nosfa's. But now Nosva has to reel at uh, his disposal. Uh, yeah, Buckster playing for both items. Impressive. Giving the reel up uh, because of that play. Oh, but this is, yeah, Nosva. Could only die there. Uh, Nosva is speeding away. Let's check the pings. 29 for Buckster. 17 for Nosva. But it isn't giving him uh, an advantage uh, up until now. And I do like how Buckster this is playing. He, he hasn't really followed up uh, the Mega Elf. Really focuses on uh, the Heavy. And that's always a big lifeline for a light on any map. I think this is only his second mega hole. Oh yeah, I'm almost almost right.
Oh, now the tables are turned. Nosva though, uh, yeah, does enough damage to scare Buckster away. As soon as Buckster is uh, readable, he uh, wants to fight some health bubbles. And Heavy will be again for Nosva. Let's uh, switch over to him. Let's see if he can uh, work with his stack a bit. Impressive. Nice. Almost a perfect split between the two items. No damage output for uh, Nosva. Well, Boxer yeah, does hit his rails. And wow, <sighs> the read. Just planting that rocket at the portal exit. Gives him in, into his uh, fourth track. Yeah, Nosva will get this uh, heavy, but I don't think he will uh, live to tell the tale. Oh, it's just that uh, a Buckster. Again, someone uh, <laughs> and Fiebler in chat already saying that he's not hitting that many rails. And uh, yeah, that is certainly something we are seeing. But he does go for the weapons with uh, consistent damage now and again. Nosva appears on the board again. Is on the hunt. Needs to get Buckster before he gets to uh, uh, a light. Yeah, how do you catch someone that can just skip uh, floors? Like that. It's close to impossible. So much uh, verticality on this map favors uh, the Athena. Well, this will certainly work. An aggressive move. And the opening then is there, and he steps over the rocket, but uh, eats two rails. And Buckstar actually being the grown up. Switching to a weapon that gives you consistent damage while Nosva is uh, missing his rail. Ducks on life support. Nosva. Pretty healthy with the Mega Health. Uh. <laughs> oh, and he finds an angle. But the timer is running out. And, and like the defensive damage Boxer gets when uh, Nosva is uh, chasing. It's definitely a momentum killer for Nosva. Ooh, this one is rather clean. The Mega Half still up. He's trying to force a spawn, but Buckstar is delaying his spawn and he spawns near the Mega Half. Ah, uh, that's definitely a loss for Nosva. Although, if you hit uh, those rails. And this one. And the jump pad gets taken. Oh, but. The hook saves Buckster. Not on this fight though. Let's go. One frag to go. Enemy spotted. Now the chase is on. Enemy found. But where? 
Can he trap him? Nowhere. Box start. You lose. You lose. Taking a map from the QPL player. Yeah, they they are both uh, going to Romania. So this would be a great booster for Boxer. We do have more maps to go through. This being a best of three, so next one will be Vil of Nov, Boxer on series point, and Nosfa playing Galena and Baxter playing Eisen. The tiebreaker will be Grub Keep. Ooh, where we actually see Baxter on Ranger and Nosva on BJ Blaskovic. Let's go. Um, I'll give you guys two minutes to start your predictions. Round begins in three. Yeah, two, let's uh, start on one. the Nosfa again. He needs to get back. Gets a nice one. The heavy. And he's working those time files, so his second totem will be up. Uh, Shortly. <laughs> Not uh, really aware of where Boxer uh, was at. And he actually dropped the totem out of the open and now switches to uh, the Mega Health. Yeah, it was of course out of position for the heavy. Baxter is able to make this an equal frag. But I do think he was bringing a rocket launcher to an LG fight. Unfortunately, Nosfa was not able to dodge all of those rockets. Items up again at the same time. Tobias being deployed uh, right at the portal exit. Yeah, Bucks are definitely having the better position right now. Oh, Nosfa is still going through. Oh, but he's actually doing the better hand of the damage, and Tobias was just sitting there idle. Yeah, so not really an effective deployment uh, of Tobias to turret from Buckstar. He does dish out uh, great damage, so he will be able to choose which major item to go uh, for. He even leaves uh, Nosfa in raidable state, but Nosfa has totems up. So Nosfa with uh, two frags on the board. But the control moved to uh, Buckster. Oh, he had great defensive damage, but now Buckster <laughs> gets an angle of his own. Even the second one, and ties it up. Yeah, still working with a full rotation. And damage. Oh, that rail would have been great to follow it up.
Yeah, I do like how Buckster set up his angles. Like it's 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 it just seems so easy. Like he's just waiting for his enemy to walk into his crosshair. Yeah, he doesn't really need to fight uh, because he wants wants the mega health. But actually, Nosfa is challenging him and successfully. Oh, and the totem sets it back a bit, but he does get the money shot. Well, Nospa is uh, looking uh, to be back in the rotation, even uh, scaring Baxter away from this Mega Half. Oh, the double back. Nospa was ready for the play. So bugs are this time around in the lead, but uh, not in control anymore. But he is able to fend off uh, Nosva, who retreats to the Mega Elf. Totem removed, but it did not damage Buckster. Warning. Oh, great damage with the tribal. And he's making a stance on the mega health, but ooh, this is risky. He does get an out. Oh, and the rocket jump. It was a great move uh, by Nosva, and it gets him. Uh, one for a closer. It's time to score on this map. It's still Boxer who is now on the series point. So Nasva needs to win this one. And wow. He was too early on his mega health. Boxer banking on this mistake. He drops another one. A three fact deficit in three and a half minutes uh, to play. I'll make it four. This is spiraling a bit out of control. Yeah, and also being cut off spawn and. Not really. Yeah, you <laughs> call it co concede the refrag or the or the spawn frag, just plus forwarding without any weapon. I think he's calling GG. He he he. It looked like he was uh, typing instead of playing. But he's still so uh, soldiering on. Yeah, I do think like in... Uh, okay. He's gone. Like in uh, Blood Covenant, he did have a, a string at the end. And almost uh, amounted to come back in the last few minutes. But this time, this is not right. So indeed, uh, Enfeebler saying in chat that this is a pretty clean win. Over uh, Noswa for a boxer. But still awesome to see uh, Noswa with pink panty in your eye. Hope he can uh, get to in his conference server. 